We just received some big special news from Capcom. The Monster Hunter team released a special message from the series producer Ryozo tujimoto san thanking fans for the continued support of the Monster Hunter franchise, as well as wishing us happy holidays, but more importantly revealed that we would be getting several more free title updates on top of a sneak peek of one of the upcoming new monsters to be released in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. But before we talk about the monster, let's talk about those updates. The focus here is on several. We were supposed to have only 5 title updates over the quote-unquote lifespan of Sunbreak, or at least only 5 had been confirmed thus far. So it's great to hear that Monster Hunter is going to continue to support Rise and Sunbreak. Rise launched in a pretty much an unfinished state, most likely due to the circumstances around the time it was released. Thankfully, however, it was fixed and improved through patches and title updates, and I'm glad to see the game get more content. There is a lot of very strong evidence pointing towards the Elder Dragon Amatsu being released in a future title update. Amatsu the Storm Elder Dragon that was first introduced in Monster Hunter Portable 3rd is often alluded to in the backstories of the characters Kagero as well as Yomogi. Capcom has been releasing a few different lore tales, if you will, through their Twitter and some other different official channels, and things such as the Calm Before the Storm and many other references really do seem to point out towards this Elder Dragon. In addition, in the latest title update, the character of Paz also seems to blatantly reference Amatsu, indicating that this Elder Dragon is likely to be the one that destroyed Tsukito. So I guess at this point you could say that this is the worst kept secret in the Monster Hunter community, and that it's only a matter of time until we actually get to hunt Amatsu in the game. Some expect it to be as soon as title update number 4, some others were expecting it to be released in title update number 5. And if that's going to be the case, then how awesome would the monsters from title update 6 and beyond be? I guess they could always end up releasing Amatsu as part of the final title update, so we would have to wait a while, but I don't want to be a bummer and think about it that much. There isn't much that is anything worth speculating about in regards to future title updates, but what's most interesting is this silhouette that was revealed to be the next monster to be coming to the game. Now, there are a lot of things that this could turn out to be. There's a few memes running around with this being Yamatsukami turned upside down. What I think this is most likely going to be is either the Elder Dragon Volcana, which was the flagship monster of the Iceborne expansion, the horns or spikes that really do resemble the head of the Volcana, so we could potentially see Volcana return in Sunbreak or even see a new iteration of Volcana, this time around as a variant much like we did with Valstrax and its variant Crimson Glow. Alternatively, I could also see this being a variant of the flagship monster of this expansion, Malzano. Personally, I think that the shape in the silhouette does resemble Malzano a lot more, but at the same time I'm not too confident about this because at the end of the day, a lot of the Elder Dragons that are present in the game are currently being used as Risen monsters to further add up the end game, and I feel like Malzano would be an obvious addition to that roster of Risen Elder Dragons. So would Capcom and the Monster Hunter team really add a Malzano variant and then one or two updates after this also add a Risen Malzano as well? It doesn't sound too likely in my opinion, so I think that Falcana is actually going to be the most safe option, which does surprise me a bit considering that we haven't received any brand new monsters in Sunbreak as part of free title updates. So far they have only been variants, either already existing variants of monsters that we have, or brand new variants, but be that as it may, we haven't really received a monster that wasn't there in the base game or in the base expansion. Like Kirin or Zemtrios, for example, I would love to see those two return. All we've been getting so far is subspecies and variants, and I think that the addition of Valkana would really spice things up. I am also very much looking forward to, if that's going to be the case, to see how the Monster Hunter team changes the combat and the hunt, 
because looking at what they did for Teostro and Kushaldor, for example, they changed those hunts a lot and made them a lot better in my opinion, and as much as I love the Valkana design, I feel like the hunt wasn't all that amazing, and especially Valkana's quote-unquote Nova really wasn't impressive at all, so hopefully the devs do make it a proper challenge this time around. It's going to be difficult to be a challenge considering how powerful us as hunters are, but I feel like it's going to be a really good addition, especially if they are going to keep the armor set skill Frostcraft in the game, because that skill allows you to change your playstyle, and as we have seen from Sunbreak, it looks like the developers are really interested and invested in adding skills that makes us change our playstyles and do crazy things that weren't possible before. Like for example the new Kushaldor and the Ostromental skills, or even the Berserk from Chaotic or Magala. There's been a recent trend, at least from what I've seen on Twitter and Reddit, that Monster Hunter players seem to be somewhat discontent with the game. Personally, I love the state of Sunbreak, it's just that I've played the game so much that I don't see myself playing it as much nowadays. I get where some players are coming from, but personally, whenever I return to play this game I always have a blast and am reminded of how much the developers have done to not only improve the base experience of Monster Hunter Rise with the expansion, but also to somewhat revolutionize the combat and how it feels compared to the other titles. I feel like the next Monster Hunter game, whatever we are going to get and whenever we're going to get it, is going to be a much slower combat type of game. It's probably going to be a mix of Monster Hunter World with some features of Rise, and as such, I really want to enjoy this game as much as possible before we get into the next one, because I have this feeling that there's not going to be another Monster Hunter game like this one. I've also been going back and playing some of the older Monster Hunter titles, like Freedom Unite and even Frontier. I'm planning to make a video about some of those games, or even a video talking about me playing all of the older titles, so if there's an older Monster Hunter game that you would like me to cover in a future video, let me know in the comment section below. There may not be a lot of Monster Hunter news right now, but there is a lot that I want to talk about and many videos that I want to make about this franchise, but I also want to delve into some other franchise in the future, so let's say that I am very much excited for this year of 2023. I hope you guys have had a good time during holidays, I wasn't able to record videos because I was with family and away, but now that I am back I plan to make as many videos as possible for you guys. Thank you all for all the support throughout 2022, and I hope you guys enjoy my content even more this year. As always, thank you all so much for watching, my name is Dark Hero, and happy hunting!